Tanya Brown, advocate for the innocent. I have appeared before you in the past asking for your assistance in making a citizen's arrest for the um, murder of uh, Nolan Klein under subordination of perjury. It would be Ron Rachel for the murder, conspiracy to commit murder by Dick Gamick and John Helzer. Um, I have um, attached and provided you and the public with some documents. One of the documents is the motion for discovery. This document shows that Ron Rachel intentionally defied a court order and withheld the evidence that sent an innocent man to prison. His handwritten notes on this document shows he had no intention of turning over anything. I have provided you a writ of mandamus that outlines the discovery of what happened in 2009 when Judge Brent Adams ordered Dick Gamick to turn over all the evidence in this case and then this document showing the handwritten notes was discovered. This writ of mandamus details from the beginning, from 1988 up until 2010, which Mr. Luparelli represented the DA's office and didn't disclose to you, which he should have. And I find that interesting when you asked a question uh, about this, um, he, Mr. Liparelli said he didn't want to shoot from the hip. He wanted to take it back to the DA's office. He never disclosed. He knew all about it. Another document is from uh, to uh, Mr. St Stephen Quinn, just prior to Mr. Klein's death, detailing the discovery of the evidence that the DA's office covered up for all these years. Another document that I have um, presented is the affidavit of Ron Rachel. Um, and that would fall under the subordination of uh, perjury as well. Um, there was a question when I brought this to you about the citizen's arrest, and you say, we'll put it on the website. Um, I want to refer to this document here. It has some of procuring execution of an innocent person by perjury. On the second page, it says NRS 228. District attorney may request assistance from attorney general in criminal prosecutions, uh, appointment of special pros prosecutors under certain circumstances. Number five, it says that if there's a conflict of interest with the uh, district attorney's office, the AG's office, they come to the county commissioners, and then you set aside for a special prosecutor. Now, on Friday, uh, July 19th, I filed a police report for the murder of Nolan Klein, asking that Ron Rachel, Dick Gamick, and John Helzer be arrested for what I have been continually coming to you asking for assistance. They have accepted my complaint, which now means it is now going to be turned over to the district attorney's office. Now, I want to refresh your memory about a woman who had come in here before about a uh, woman who had been on the bus, worked for the county, was beaten up, and it was at the DA's office. You stepped in to intervene to find out what was happening with that case. I'm asking that you do the same here, because otherwise it's under conspiracy to conceal a crime, crimes against public justice, and you're culpable. Thank you.